Hello students, we are solving the ID Math EA HL past paper questions and currently we are solving the ID Math EA HL May 2023 paper 2 times on 2 past paper. Today we will be solving the question number 6 of this paper. He will be getting the links to all the previously solved 5 questions of this paper and of the other papers in form of playlist in my channel NS Online Math Tutoring Classes. So without any further delay, let us start solving question number 6. The maximum mark is 8. It says consider the two planes pi 1 having the equation 2x minus y plus 2z equal to 6 and pi 2 having the equation of 4x plus 3y minus z equal to 2. Let L be the line of intersection of pi 1 and pi 2. So part A's question is verify that a vector equation of L is R equal to 0, 2 and 4. This is a point on this line L plus lambda a parameter times 1, negative 2 and negative 2. This is the direction vector of this line L where lambda is any real number. It is containing 3 marks. Okay, we have to verify. They have given us the equation, vector equation of this line L. We have to just verify. So, One way is to show that first of all, this point is lying on both these two planes. You substitute 0 for x and 2 for y and 4 for z and show that 2 times 0 is 0 minus 2 and plus 2 times 4 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. So it is getting satisfied. For this also, 4 times 0 is 0 plus 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, so we have proved that uh, the, uh, the point 0, 2, 4, which is on this line L, is on these two planes also. Is present on both pi 1 and pi 2 planes. And then you can show that this is the direction vector of the line L. So, uh, and we know the normal vector, normal to the plane pi 1, is equal to. 2 and negative 1 and 2 and the normal vector to the plane pi 2 will be equal to 4, 3 and negative 1. Okay, so if we do the vector product, if we get the vector product of n1 cross n2, that will be a vector which will be perpendicular to both n1 and n2. So it will be parallel to the line L. Okay, it will be parallel to the line L. Hence, this vector n1 cross n2 vector and this direction vector of the line L1 minus 2 and minus 2, these two vectors should be parallel. If we can prove that, then we can say that, of course, this is the vector equation of line L, which is the line of intersection of these two planes. This is one method, or else if you want to avoid it, then I am showing that method. I have shown you first of all how to prove it using the vector product method. Okay, But now I am showing another method of proving. So uh, I can write that the general coordinates or the coordinates of a general point On line L will be zero plus lambda times one is lambda, two plus lambda times negative two is two minus two lambda, and four plus lambda times negative two is four minus two lambda. Okay. So this, these are the coordinates of a general point. Means every point lying on the line L will be having coordinates of this form. Lambda values will be different for different points. Okay. So every point on the line L should be lying, should be present in both the planes pi one and pi two. So we will be showing that this general point is present on both the planes pi one and pi two. Okay. So for pi one. On substituting the 
the coordinate values it is 2 times x is lambda minus this one is y 2 minus 2 lambda plus 2 times z is this 4 minus 2 lambda this is equal to 2 lambda minus 2 plus 2 lambda plus 8 and minus 4 lambda 2 lambda plus 2 lambda is 4 lambda and minus 4 lambda they cancel and 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 okay therefore the point is on phi 1 okay again for pi 2 it is 4 times x is lambda plus 3y so plus 3 i'm reading this equation okay plus 3 times y is 2 minus 2 lambda okay and minus z so minus 4 minus 2 lambda is equal to 4 lambda plus 6 minus 6 lambda minus 4 plus 2 lambda so 4 lambda plus 2 lambda is 6 lambda and this is minus 6 lambda they get cancelled and 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 see this is equal to 2 therefore the point is on pi 2 hence the vector equation of L is correct. Verified. Okay. So this is the answer for the subpart A. Coming to subpart B, find the coordinates of the point P on L that is nearest to the origin. Suppose uh, this is the subpart B. Suppose this is the line L and this is the origin. Oh. So the nearest point will always be the, if I drop a perpendicular, it is not very accurate perpendicular that I have drawn. But suppose this is a perpendicular and this is the point P. Okay. So this will be the nearest point, nearest to the origin on the line L. Okay. The perpendicular distance is the shortest distance. Okay. Between one point and the, the line. So the line OP should be perpendicular or the OP vector should be perpendicular to the direction vector of line L okay so you may draw this diagram and this is 0 comma 0 comma 0 of course and I am taking the general coordinates of point P because I don't know I have to find the coordinates of point P so I am taking the general coordinates as lambda 2 minus 2 lambda and 4 minus 2 lambda okay so OP vector is equal to lambda minus 0 2 minus 2 lambda minus 0 and 4 minus 2 lambda minus 0 which is equal to lambda 2 minus 2 lambda and 4 minus 2 lambda okay and since this op vector will be perpendicular to the direction vector of the line l so its dot product or scalar product should be equal to 0. And what is the direction vector of line L? This is 1, negative 2 and negative 2. So therefore this, when a scalar product is done between these two vectors, we should be getting a 0. Okay. So therefore, since OP is perpendicular to L, therefore 
lambda 2 minus 2 lambda and 4 minus 2 lambda dot 1 minus 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So this is equal to lambda times 1 is lambda. Then 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 lambda times negative 2 is plus 4 lambda. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And negative 2 lambda times negative 2 is plus 4 lambda. Equal to 0. So this is lambda, this is 4 lambda. So 5 lambda plus 4 lambda is 9 lambda. And this is negative 8, this is negative 4. So negative 12, so it is 12. Or lambda equal to 12 over 9 or 4 over 3. Okay? So therefore, therefore, coordinates of P are lambda, which is 4 over 3, 2 minus 2 lambda, that is 2 minus 2 times 4 over 3, and 4 minus 2 lambda, 4 minus 2 times 4 over 3, or P, 4 over 3, this is 2 minus 8 over 3, so I can write this as 6 over 3, I can write 2 as 6 over 3, minus 8 over 3, and again I am writing this as 12 over 3, okay, 12 over 3, minus 8 over 3, so, or P will be 4 over 3, and 6 minus 8 is negative 2, negative 2 over 3. And 12 minus 8 is positive 4 over 3. Okay. I prefer to keep them in fractional form, but you may give the decimal equivalent also. This is paper 2. You will be having the calculator. So you may give the answers, the coordinates in decimal form, but of course they will be approximate values. These are exact values. Okay. So we have completed answering this question number 6. Thank you for staying with me till the end. I am Nilanjana Senyal. I am an online IB Math, ESL, and HL level tutor. I tutor students from both within India and outside India and I offer both one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring services to my students. In case you are liking my explanation, please do give this video a like and please to share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching my videos. And in case you want to join my sessions, please do contact me for more details. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed to my channel till now. We meet again very soon. We will be solving the very next question of the same paper in our next lesson. Till then, bye.